This lesson continues from the previous one, Unit Testing View X. If you want to follow along with the examples, you'll need a basic app with the router and just unit testing package installed. For our examples, we set up a new page in views slash about. For the tests, we'll use the example test file in tests slash unit. Because routing typically involves multiple components, its testing usually takes place at the end-to-end -end level. But there is still some unit testing we can do here. And, like with Vuex testing, we'll create a local router for each test, so don't worry about configuring the router. When testing the router, we want to test if we can navigate to a route. First, we'll create a local router with the route we want to test. Then, we'll programmatically navigate to that route. And finally, we'll check if the navigation was successful by checking if the component or content inside it exists. As an example, let's test if we can navigate to the About page. We'll need the Create Router and Create Web History methods. So, we'll import them along with the About component. Then, we'll create the router with a route to the About page. We'll use the push method to navigate to the page and then mount the app. For the test, we'll use the mounted app to find the component, then check if it exists with the exists method. As it stands however, the test will fail. That's because it needs two extra things. The first is that we need to install the local router. Since it's a plugin, we can install it by using the plugins array in the global option of the mount method. The second problem is that the newer versions of the router handle routing asynchronously. We'll need to wait until the router has finished the navigation. Luckily, the view test utilities gives us the handy is ready method to tell us when it's ready after we navigate with push. We'll have to await it, so we also need to mark the test with async. Now, if we run the test, it will pass. In the next video, we'll learn how to compare two images of an application with snapshot testing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.